please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. It helps. It really does. Hello Fool Lovers, it's good you're here. Chan Chan was born in Ichion, South Korea on the 23rd of May 1956. His parents were originally from Shantung Province, China. Chan started his martial arts training with his older brother in the art of Taekwondo. When he was 9 years old, his brother took him to Master Bi Shu Yi, who helped him to further his skills and taught him Chinese martial arts like Ba Ji Kwan, Ba Gua Zan, Northern Praying Mantis, and Zing Yi Kwan. As a young boy, Chan was quite a mischievous kid with a love for fighting, and so he found himself in many fights with other kids. He once said in an interview that he had a bad habit. He could not run from a fight. And since he was picked on a lot, they would call him Daoli Bangzi, a demeaning slang, which would lead to him having to defend his honor. At the age of 21, Chang went to Taiwan to enter a World Championship Martial Arts Tournament. He defeated everyone and won first place. This was where he first caught the eyes of a scout from the movie company, Great China Film Company. Impressed by what they saw, Chang was offered a night picture deal over a three-year period. With no acting experience or any aspirations to be a movie star, he was at first hesitant to take the offer. He said he questioned, why him? However, he would eventually sign the contract and was on his way to becoming a legend of martial arts cinema. Chang would go on to make two classic films with the company. He would make his debut in the movie of Cooks and Kung Fu as the menacing Take No Prisoners Bok Chen Chu and follow that up with Kung Fu of Seven Steps as the shrewd, white-haired villain, Chu Chin Kong, both in 1979. After the three years were up, he left the Great China Film Company, and his next film, Shaolin Temple Strikes Back, in 1981, would be made for the great independent film producer, Joseph Ku, through Cam Production Studios. After featuring in three other movies that year, Chang would take a one-year hiatus from making movies, and would return in the year 1983 with what is considered by many fans of the genre as one of the greatest independently made Kung Fu movies of all time, Shaolin vs. Lana, also starring Alexander Lowe and directed by the great Lee Sonan. Chang's portrayal of the Golden Wheel Lama, Yao Fen Lin, is so iconic it has been referenced in many songs and other characters have taken inspiration from it. Unfortunately, after this movie, Although he would go on to feature in many more films, it would mainly be in supporting roles, the exception being Wild Panther 1984, in which he starred alongside Don Mantau. The Kung Fu era was coming to an end, and Chan was understandably displeased with the roles he was being offered. So after the movies kicked Boxer in 1993 and the Chinese Ghostbuster in 1994, Chan Chan would retire from making movies. With a passion for martial arts still in his system, Chang would open a martial arts school in Korea, where he lived at the time. But the school would soon close its doors after only six months. He admits that he did not have the brain for business and that his training methods were very strict. So much so that all 80 of his students left. Approximately 10 of them left after being beaten in challenge matches where they challenged him for seniority over who should be head of the school. He also opened a restaurant, but that venture did not last very long. Chang would eventually settle in Taiwan with his wife and their children. He still lives there and is now a proud grandfather. He is very active on social media, where he makes it a point to interact with his legion of fans. He is very down to earth and obviously cherishes the support of his many fans. With his legacy in the annals of Kung Fu cinema very much secured, to Chang Chang we say, thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the food be with you.